Do you have problems with the sounds b, v and w? Maybe you get mixed up and confused because you pronounce the letters differently in your language. Well, it's a common problem. So if you want to get them right, come with me. First of all, you need to know the difference between how you make the sound of a consonant and the sound of a vowel. Well, consonant sounds are made by restricting or blocking the airflow using parts of the tongue or the lips. This blocking or restriction or release of it is what produces the sound. So it's very important to get this restriction or blocking right. Vowel sounds are made with no restriction at all so that the airstream can escape freely. Of course, we are learning English here, so there are two exceptions. W and Y. These two consonants are made with no restriction to the airflow, so we call these two sounds semi-vowels. See my videos here on these two sounds when they're used to link words together. Well, now you know. But stay with me, because later on I'll be showing you how to produce the semi-vowel W. So let's begin with the consonant sound B. It is voiced, so put your hand to your throat here. And when you say the sound, you should be able to feel it vibrate. Just test it for me. Just say B, 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 B. Can you feel it? I hope so. Good. Now, as B is a consonant, you need to restrict the sound. So where do you restrict B? Yes, it's easy. Just purse your lips together to block the airstream. A bit like you're going to kiss someone, like this. Now release it and voice it all at the same time. B. 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 There should be a sudden release of air as you say the sound. It's not possible to extend this sound, it's just a short burst. B. B. It's the same mouth shape as P, but for B you use your voice. B. B. We call this, wait for it, a voiced bilabial plosive. In other words, we use our voice and block the airflow using our lips, producing a sudden release of air to say the sound B. 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 The next sound is V. This is voice too, so put your hand to your throat like this again. So where do we restrict the sound? Well, it's like this. Press your bottom lip lightly against the edge of your top front teeth, like this. Not like this. Like this. And voice it. It's possible to extend this sound for as long as you like. Do this. V, 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 v. You can extend the sound because the airflow is only restricted. It is not blocked, like the B sound. V has the same mouth shape as F, but you use your voice for V. Technically speaking, we call this sound a voiced labiodental. Labio meaning lip and dental meaning teeth, fricative. Now let's move on to the semi-vowel W. This is voiced, so keep your hand on your throat. Now round your lips, but leave a slight opening, almost like you're about to whistle a tune. And put your tongue back by raising the back of your tongue near the back of your mouth. Remember, no touching in there, because there is no restriction with this sound. Now voice it. W. W. If this is difficult, try combining these two sounds, U and the schwa sound U, uh, like this. W. W. Hopefully that helps you a bit.
<laughs> now let's look at the spelling of words with the W sound. At the beginning of words, they're usually spelt with the letter W or WH, like winter or where. But you also have the sound in the middle of words, like away and towards. And then there are words with no letter for the sound. For example, one, question, quick, someone, require. And last of all, there are words with the letter W at the end of the word, but the W sound is silent. For example, saw, rainbow, now, below, and window. Don't say below, window, saw. So normally speaking, do not sound the W at the end of the word unless it is followed by a vowel in connected speech. For example, the window is open. Now it's going to rain. But with the word saw, the W sound is often replaced with a R sound when it is linked to a following vowel in connected speech, like this. Where's my phone? I saw it on the table. So let's listen and practice the difference between B and V. Watch, listen and repeat. Best, vest, boat, boat, bat, vat, bet, vet, bolts, volts. Now let's practice the difference between V and W. Watch, listen and repeat. Vent, went, best, west, vet, wet, very, wary, veil, whale. If your pronunciation is not quite perfect, record yourself on your smartphone until you get it just right. Now let's practice all the three sounds together in these sentences. Ben is very worried about his wife's weight. His wife Barbara weighs 90 kilos and is very unfit. Barbara is very worried about her husband Ben. He has a violent temper. Ben is always at his local wine bar and doesn't come home until very late. So Ben never sees Barbara because she always feels tired and goes to bed early. Well, that's it. Hope you learnt something new, but don't forget to practice. Love and peace.